Oh, I scared you. Uh, get this. This is like... Oh, sorry. No, I'm not trying to scare anybody being in a cemetery. Actually, this is a, a pretty peaceful place on my way to work. And I was thinking I should introduce you to my husband one day. He did pass away um, you know, in April in 2003. And uh, he's in a beautiful, beautiful cemetery in Boston called Forest Hills. People from all over the world come to this cemetery. Not this one. The one where um, my love is resting. Uh, Oh, God, there are kids in here. Better not be causing trouble. Don't be causing trouble, you boys. No reason for you to be hanging out in a cemetery after school. Got too much time on your hands. You should be joining a sport like soccer, baseball. Look at looking at me like, uh oh, we got witnesses in here. If you do anything to these headstones, anything, you'll, I've got you on video. Um, let me find. God, the sun is so bright today, which I'm grateful for. I am grateful. I am grateful for. But it's blind in my cataracts, which I'm hoping got worse so I can get that LASIK surgery done and not have to wear readers ever again. Ever again. Because otherwise it's cosmetic surgery. All right. So this is my... Where am I? How can you get... How can one get lost in a cemetery? Leave it to me. Leave it to me to get lost in a cemetery and there's no one asked for help. There's everyone sleeping. This is the, uh, this is kind of uh, um, nostalgic for me. When my daughter was a baby, hi Diana, um, she was in daycare and she hated going there because she was bullied. My daughter was bullied as a three, was she three, four year old in daycare. And the daycare workers never did anything. I would speak to them and say, look, it." there was two little girls that did this to her. And my daughter was really affected at that young age. And I would talk to the, I went up the chain of command at the daycare center and said, look, it, can you like talk to these little girls or their parents, you know? And that wasn't working. And I went to the owner of the daycare. That wasn't working. I'm talking struggles getting my daughter to daycare. It was awful. It was awful. The poor thing. I mean, she really didn't want to go and I didn't blame her. So one day I go to pick her up and um, it's nap time. But these two little girls weren't napping. And I woke my daughter up and I saw these two little girls in the corner and I said hi to them. And I just looked at them and I go, look at, if you don't stop picking on my daughter and being mean to her, I am going to call the police and you could end up going to jail. I'm telling you people, these two little girls stopped. They stopped bullying my daughter. They stopped bullying my daughter. And they never ran to anyone to say, you know, Diana's mommy said that nothing. Those two little girls were smart girls, and they're in their 20s now. And if you're seeing this, I know you remember this. I know you remember that day that I nicely spoke to you, but I was firm. I was firm. Okay, I know you don't want to look at headstones. I was firm. But anyway, this is the cemetery I came to once when my daughter had a tantrum on the way to daycare. And I don't know if she remembers. She, I have a feel. I think she does. She does. And it was the only place that I could find to just let her scream her head off because I could not drive. I, I was just like a wreck. I was upset with in seeing her this way, and I was like, this isn't right. And I, I was upset with her. I was upset with the girls, the little girls at the daycare. So I pulled in. And I got out of my my vehicle and I stayed right, you know, in, in view. I wasn't too far from the vehicle. And I said, go for it. Go for it. Scream your little head off. And she did. And uh, 
I needed that air and I'm like because you know I had a light coming up and you could hear my daughter through closed windows through closed windows <laughs> I'm just like this was like the only place that I could find so anyway um, why is it everywhere I stop someone else is gonna stop yeah I got my thinking glasses on today they come in to pay their respects Anyway, okay, so I, I have to get to work, but look at, I think whatever, and, and I have to learn because like I said, I've tried, like when these recommendations come up and it shows live and, and I keep hitting not interested, not interested, but again, if you go out of that page and come back in, it shows up all over again. So why they even have a not interested when you've already seen it, like it's like, really, it's like a tease. And when it keeps coming up, all well, curiosity did kill that cat. And, um, and, and I've never done it before. And I start going in because I think so many of us are affected and, uh, I have to work on, and, and I can, I, I can do this because it just started where I'm actually going into these lives and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, it's like, you know, starting a bad habit of smoking. It's like the best time to quit is the minute you start. Just stop. Don't go. Don't do it again. So I think I'll be OK with that. Um, but I think what happens is and in, in, I've heard people like, you know, oh, you know, Pink is playing martyr. Pink is playing victim. Um, I had one person, um, Emerald Z, um, really bully me in one of these lives today and, and and I didn't stay long I was just like really like you know the truth and you knew in other people you knew about the video with with Laura and I'm just like you know what? how can you defend yourself when you did nothing wrong you speak the truth and even though you speak the truth people are like no nope, not good enough not good enough so when you address one situation um when you address I gotta get out of here like, these people are just like... I think because Easter's coming. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, a cab. There's a cab in the cemetery. For what? For what? Do you deliver? I should order some pizza. Oh, don't... For oh, there's a cab on my ass. Are you serious? And it's a woman. Get out of here. Get out in a cemetery. I have someone riding my ass. Like what? <laughs> oh, love that dirty water, Boston. Love it. Love it. I'm going down this road. Leave me alone. I'm in a cemetery. I've never thought I'd be so bothered. Um, so what happens is, is uh, you know, you respond to one thing. Like I didn't know about the lie, right? And then some people are like, well, if you have true followers, they're going to believe everything you say. Get out of here. Come on. Uh, uh, you know, and then what happens is you address one thing and then someone takes that and they create their own drama. And that person takes that drama and creates their own. It's like the game telephone. And at the end of the at the end of the day, it is a complete poop show and it went from, I wasn't aware of that live to, I was aware of that live and I'm me and I'm a horrible liar and I hate Laura and she can go suck an egg and um, blah, blah, blah. And it, th this is what happened. That's what happens. You can just go on for three seconds. Forget name that tune, right? Forget name that tune. Because, could you name that tune? Oh yeah, you could, that was easy. It goes from, you know, saying one simple thing, because I'm at work at a 14 hour shift, then I have to go back for another hour and a half because I'm head of this department and there was a serious issue going on and it's just like, and it turns into something that I didn't even say or, you know, and it's, you know, when you step back out of the box of reality and you listen to all this and you see all of it, which I try not to see, you know, but 
and it's just like really like go out get some air like I challenge people just to leave your cell phone in your home unless people go out and take walks with their laptop you know they do have holders like that you can actually walk around with a laptop I'm not kidding I'm not kidding you think walking around with that thing around your neck to put the phone which I have 498 at Walmart um leave the social media equipment at home and just take a walk breathe in that fresh air and really getting back and get back in touch with what our purpose in life is for and think about you know your platform if you have one a lot of people like a spew hate out and they don't even have a platform um and just really focus on get back to like why you created your channel and what you're there for and if you don't have anything to create your channel but want to think about what your what your craft is what what you're good at your skills and you know that be it a story i know i'm such a guy who reads stories from a book which is great for people who are blind who can't see and he he reads stories out of a book it's amazing you know because you can touch people's lives in a positive way with what you can bring to your channel that is of positivity and you know and it just gets to be a cra- oh look at there's a house here whose backyard is literally like you could throw a stone from their porch and hit a headstone that's going to be scary at night. I bet they have lots of ghost stories to tell. And uh, so, and then you got people who have been sub to me and who I adore. And no, Potty, it's not you, honey. And, and <laughs> they're like, oh, Pink is always playing the victim. And I'm like, please, you know, rather than me going there, just please unsubscribe for me, please. You know, I, I just, I, I can't go there. And, and still everyone is like, did you really know about the live? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. And the spa package is real. So how much more can I give of myself? How much more can I give of myself? Believe me, I don't need to play a victim. I think I know. Oh, wow. Do you guys want to see an awesome headstone? Seriously. I got to get out for this. I got to show you this. Wait till I take you to the uh, cemetery where my love is, is resting. Waterfalls. And I want you to look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. There's so much snow. Look at this. Oh, it's me. You don't want to look at me. Look. Isn't that beautiful? They have a picture of her on a bench. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's like it's not engraved. Oh, my goodness. March 1st, 1972. This is engraved. Obviously this and the cross. Oh my goodness. The birds. I'm going to cry. You know, this is... This is what life is about. Look at... This woman, I am sure, left a legacy. Well, maybe people like, I don't know. Maybe they didn't like her, but... For someone to take the time out for this... And to remember her, she had to have left a wonderful legacy. She had to. And in the Jewish tradition, this is what we do. I don't even know this woman, but she's touched me. She's touched me. This is what we do. We leave rocks. For eternal life. Oh. That's too big. Oh, here. Look at this. Oh, wow. 
Oh my God. I have my glasses on. She's probably like, who are you? Who are you? What was that alarm? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That made my day. That truly made my day. These are things that life is all about, right? People, I'm not trying to be a martyr. I'm not trying to be the voice of reason. People are like throwing labels out at me. Like, you know, just just step out of the box of YouTube for a little bit and get, take a walk in a cemetery. Oh my God, you can learn so much. Like, look what I learned today. Like, I, I learned so much that my words and being of a, uh, an English lit background. I, I can't even, the times when I can't find words, I am just so touched. And um, well, then there's a cemetery in Boston where people have like lifelike statues of themselves on top of like their headstones. It, it's like, that's another one I'll take you to. Like if anyone's into, like really, let's do that this summer. I will take you on a tour of a couple of cemeteries in my area. Um, that are just amazing. And, and these are cemeteries where there's stories there. There's legacies, positive legacies. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people in here that people wish, yeah, goodbye, good riddance, don't come back. But you know what? And I said it to Cece. I said it, I've said it to many people, my children, that, you know, think of life in, in the haters and in, in the bullies, you know, do we pray for them? Many do. Do I? I don't know. I, yeah, I guess I do. I guess I, I, I do to a point. But when it affects me, it's hard and it takes time. But, you know, it's like, you know, being in, in, in Maui and like a tsunami comes, right? And people are running. They are running. I mean, think of the tsunami as hate. All right. And people are running to get away from it and the tsunami like like you know brings up garbage and trash and, and to the shores when the tide goes out you're left with all this the plastic and the plastic meaning you know fake metaphor for fake okay um and you know the water the blue 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 clear water becomes murky brown you can't even see to the bottom of it as you usually can you know that is that is hate that is bullying but you know what at the end of the day when the tsunami has gone through and it's left you know you're left with you know things start the tide comes up again washes away the plastic washes away you know the dirt and the grime in the sludge and then eventually the sludge falls to the bottom of the ocean and when that sludge falls to the bottom of the ocean what arises what arises from that the water becomes clear it starts to sparkle you know when you're out at the ocean on a beautiful sunny day and you see the wakes and the sparkles on top of the wakes when they break and you know in the sun's re it's the sun's reflection that's what rises to the top that's what rises to the top, you know? So in other words, there is more good and there is more love in this world than there is hate and bullying. And uh, we have to stay focused on that. Um, and, and in the moment, yes, it hurts. I reacted. I reacted last night, you know, out of confusion. And, and then people are like, well, prove, you know, prove you didn't, didn't know about Laura's lie. Prove this, prove that. It's all noise. It's all noise. It's all noise. When you do something like what Lady A did by putting emails out there, you know, I always say, unless something affects your breathing, mind your own business. Like, what was your point? What was your point to get in between two people who let them work it out? Let them work it out. But to get in the middle of someone else's problems and try to speak for them and, and take sides that is destructive. That is destructive. So your your point, Penguin Lady A, okay, is is all about you know how far can I spew hate? Who who supports me? Who can I reel into my my YouTube world and keep on my side because they're bullying? But if I agree with them, they'll stick around for me. You know, that's not the way to go through life and develop friendships. And those friendships will not last. 
And when you say, you know, Penguin says, I deleted it. And yet on your live, you're like, well, you know, to CC, I'll delete it if you just tell the truth. That's blackmail. That is pure blackmail. You cannot go through your life like this. You cannot. I told you to delete. Do not put it in listed. Do not put it in private. Delete it and make a public apology with no excuses. Okay. Otherwise, Pink is going to Kentucky. Okay. I am going to take the legal route because this is an internet crime. Bullying is an internet crime. This is no joke. I'm not trying to be the hero. I only know how it affected me. Okay. And the cancer and, and the cutting and, you know, and what do we do if we're on the out, outside of YouTube? If people are like that in our lives, we go to the police, we make reports, we get restraining orders and we, many people will take it a step further and charge that person with a crime. It's real. It's real. That's the reality of it. This inside YouTube world is no joke. It is no joke where we play and take sides. Okay. So that's all I have to say because I am going to work. So back to name that tune. Can you name this tune in 1.11333333 seconds? Oh, it's a commercial. Hold on. What is it? No, you are wrong. No, no, no. Good answer. Good answer. Yes, she's got it. She's got it. Ding, 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 ding. You win the pink merch party package. Okay. Uh, I don't know what my schedule will be. I know I said I'm, I'm leaving YouTube. That was the heat of the moment. It's like a dog in heat. You're like, oh my God, like react, react, react. I am not in heat. Um, but one time, you know, when I met this guy, no, never mind. I can't go there. So I'm, that, that heat triggered me. I'll now forget it. So, so I will, I'm off for the next few days after tonight and I will, I will work on my agenda, my schedule for a game night, family feud after dark people. Um, I will do a recovery prescribed open chat night um, for those struggling in drug addiction, those affected by those, their loved ones struggling with drug addiction, um, and for those in recovery. And I'll try to figure out Google Hangout, Hangout so, and I'm getting there so I can have a guest, okay? All right, so uh, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. One more? Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Can you name this tune in 2.00000, seconds? No, no. Good answer, close, close, but no, that wasn't it. No. Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Judy Garland? No. I don't typically like to bring that Judy Garland up because I love Judy Garland. One time, true story, she bumped into a woman in a restroom and the woman was drinking and a little intoxicated. And she's like, oh, Judy, I'll find the video and upload it. You're just so full of rainbows. And have you found your rainbow? And oh, Judy, Judy, Judy. And then she goes to the bathroom and, and she comes back out and goes, Judy, Judy, where's the rainbow? Where's the rainbow? I love Judy. She's so funny. This is the lady who's drinking saying it to Judy. And Judy got this white boa as a gift. And it was way too big for her because she's such a little, she was such a little petite lady. And Judy just whipped the boa over her shoulder and said, honey, I got rainbows up my ass. <laughs> Judy Garland was so funny. She was so funny. Like, she reminds me a lot of me, except I can't sing. I cannot sing. And I will not attempt to sing because you'll have to take your earbuds out. All right, so that's my little Judy Garland story, but nope, that's not the answer to name that tune. No. Close, close. 
Yes, you are correct. That was Meatloaf um, by the Dashboard Lights, whatever that song is. You are correct. You now win a Pink Party merch package. Congratulations. All right. Be well, everybody. Be well. I'm leaving the cemetery. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Rest well. And I mean that. Thank you for your legacies. And even the bad people out there who, who have passed, you know, if they were murderers or something, or, or, you know, you know, hopefully they found mercy and forgiveness from God. Hopefully. All right. Aloha.